Hello neighbors, Dennis Sid here, your Wrigley Realtor, and I want to wish you all a happy new year. I hope 2023 was great, whether it was or wasn't. Uh, I hope 2024 is going to be a great year for you and your family. I want to give you guys our December Wrigley Market update. Not a lot of activity in the last 30 days, which is completely normal when it comes to the holidays and the winter season, but there was a lot of changes in terms of the economy and the interest rates. The interest rates dipped down to the lowest that they've been since May, almost two points. And that alone increased your buying power by about $50,000. So what that means is that if you had got quotes one month ago and your payment was $4,000, now you can buy a $50,000 more home and keep your payments the same. Or you can still focus on that price range and your payment went down a few hundred dollars. So that is a big impact when, it, when you're shopping for a home. So if you've been waiting for rates to go down, right now may be the opportunity. And I truly feel that if you're ready right now and you're in position, once the inventory starts coming up, if you're already pre-approved, you're going to put yourself in a good position. But if you're trying to get pre-approved after the market starts turning and the inventory starts popping up, you're going to be a step behind and then you're going to be back in that overbidding market. In our last four escrows, we've negotiated a total of $70,000 in buyer credits. So that helps you buy down your interest rate, uh, lower your down payment costs. So those are the opportunities right now that may not be available in the next 30 to 60 days. So just a heads up, if you're in the market, please, I'd love the opportunity. If you're thinking about moving, uh, no commitment, I'd love the opportunity to interview to work for you and show you how we work to successfully uh, get you top dollar for your house. But here's our market update for the month of December. So as I mentioned, not a lot of activity. Uh, the median list price went down just because lower inventory, the prices of the home, the homes that did sell were were lower. So they had this median list price went down by $100,000. And just keep in mind, Wrigley takes up most of 90806, but there is some condos and then it does seep into other areas. Average days on market, 68 days. 75% of homes saw a price decrease, which is crucial. So three-fourths of the homes had to adjust their price in order to sell it. Nobody went up in price in the last 30 days. 25% of homes relisted. So that means they opened escrow and for whatever reason canceled and went back to the market. So that's a big number. So just because you don't get an offer accepted the first time around, sometimes the best offer and the winning offer is the backup offer. So don't get discouraged if your offer doesn't get accepted. Median rent is $25.95. It just depends on your situation. For some people, renting makes sense. You may live in Wrigley right now in a nice home on a nice street and your rent might only be $2,500, $3,000. If you decide to purchase that same house, it could be going up significantly so i think you just have to weigh the pros and cons uh, purchasing might not be for everybody but you may rent where you live and purchase a condo downtown a studio downtown and and let that be your first rental and over time that'll appreciate and you can take that equity out and use that as your down payment to buy your forever home so living in the house you own may not be, be for everybody but I do feel like owning real estate should be for everybody at some point or another to generate wealth for yourself and your family. So the market action index went from 60 uh, last month. It was 65. So it's it went again from more of a strong seller's market back in the buyer's uh, favor by five points. And like I mentioned, we negotiated these credits uh, for our clients. And that, those are opportunities that present itself in more of a buyer's market, not in a seller's market. So some more uh, numbers. So right now we only have two properties for sale in Wrigley, which is crazy. Usually we have seven um, not to eight at any given time. One of them is a condo. We don't have a lot of condos in Wrigley. We have the ones on spring. And then we have some that are over by the riverbed where the new um, horse track is. So there's one condo for sale there at 425. If you're interested in looking at it, uh, I'm going to show you some more information on that shortly. And the other property that we have for sale is a multi-unit. It's a, it's on Chestnut. 
So if you're looking for an investment, that might be a good option for you. One under contract, three pending, and three closed in the last 30 days. The highest being 890. One of my favorite parts is highlighting uh, properties that are available at right now. So this is that uh, duplex that I'm telling you about. It's a million five. Uh, the reason being is because you're pretty much buying uh, two houses in one. Um, so in total, it's six bed, three baths. So it's three beds up top and three beds at the bottom. Hence the price. You're buying two houses for seven fifty. If you want to look at it that way, uh, nice Spanish style home. The unique thing on this one. You can buy a duplex with FHA, uh, with FHA loan, so you can buy with only 3.5% down. But I don't know who has this amount of money, but if you don't want to put it on your credit, the seller will finance $400,000. So if you have a million one in sitting somewhere, uh, the owner will finance $400,000 seller finance, so it won't be on credit. You don't need a bank. The owner is the bank. Next is the condo I was telling you about. Uh, 883 34th Street, 425, one bed, one bath. If you want to stay in Wrigley, starter home, uh, this is a great option here. Bottom unit has a little patio. Looks like the floor was redone recently. It's a nice little community. It's tucked away. Uh, not a lot of foot traffic, and you're, you're around a, the nice new green belt. And I want to highlight a few other homes, some that recently uh, just sold. Here's one, 2011 Oregon Avenue. This one was remodeled, done really nice. I did a video tour. You may have saw it. Originally 850, sold for 863. And then here was a two bed, one bath. This home has sold probably like five times in the last 10 years. Um, but I feel like because it's a two bed, one bath on a kind of busy street on Hill, um it turns over a lot but i just feel like because it's a starter home it's kind of where you get your 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 foot in the game and everybody that has bought this house and sold it has made a profit so it went from 725 to 750 the last time it sold it sold for about 625 so this is the giving home uh, hopefully uh, everybody that's bought this has upgraded and upsized to different properties so um, that's the power of real estate you buy what you can and you build the equity and you sell when you're ready and you either uh, sell one house to buy two or you sell your smaller home to buy a bigger home. Uh, love the opportunity to meet. Happy New Year once again. And I look forward to meeting new neighbors this year. Have a great day and talk to you soon.